All right, y'all. So I'm gonna make a quick video for y'all because people apparently just suck at explaining how to do things. So yeah, our subject today is a '94 to '97 Honda Accord. I'm not sure if the '94 and '95 are different when it comes to taking off the front bumper. Pretty sure they're the same because all they really changed was the grill. But so, in order for you to do anything up front, whether it be taking your bumper off, doing your headlights, or trying to take off your fenders all has to deal with the bumper coming out so as you can see with my case i bought this car hit a deer so i have to take off the bumper so i can get access to get this fender off and then once i do that i'll be able to take out this headlight place headlights on and so forth all that good stuff now then the issue with when they built these accords i guess they didn't think it through or they made it kind of like the old school da's like that one we have to take off the whole entire bumper first before you can take anything out of it so, if you see, they're held in place here in these little holes by screw clips. What they didn't think about when they were designing it was, yeah, we're going to put it right underneath the headlight, making it so you can't gain access to it. So in order for you to do that, how would you go about doing it? Take out those. Now, in one of the videos I saw, the guy was simply just like, yeah, there's a hole right here, and you shove a screwdriver in there. More specifically... You'll see there's a little square hole. You see that white cylindrical, like, uh, I don't even know what you would call that. I guess screw point. It's a Phillips head screw. Take a screwdriver. Put it in there. Twist it. Spin it out. That one fell out because I had it out. Put your hand in behind it and feel for it. And then you're going to pop it forward. As you can see over here, they clip in like that. So when you go to re reinstall them, slide them into that slot and just push and then reinsert the screw. Then bring them out. Either twist your bulb out or use the clip to release it. Then once you've done that, you can see here, it gives you access to your front uh, bumper stay bolts. You got one there. One up top, I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, there's the one right there. And then the same thing over here. Got one right there. Another one up top here. So the same thing on both sides. Uh, I'm gonna say they look like 12 mils, but not 100% sure because I haven't even put a socket on yet, but they look like 12 mils to me. There's also an eight mil over here underneath the fender where the lining is. So you can see it right there. I already took it out. You just push this back, you get access to your 8mm. And then there's one more on the other side, and then there's three more, I believe, 8 mils on the bottom of the bumper, which were missing on my car actually. But if I can take a video for y'all. So you got one that goes here. As you can see, there's a hole. And your threads are inside of there, but I said mine was missing, so it is what it is. But yeah, once you get all those off, it takes your bumper stay loose, and these are hung via two little hooks. Is how Honda designed it. Like you can see on my DA over here, the bumper will just kind of like clip into here, and then it'll hang until you get your bolts in. But yeah, in case anybody was wondering, that's how you do it. Just thought I should uh, share it with y'all real quick. Have a good one.